My name is Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Nicole. I'm Eli. And I'm Jason. And we are the Ahuna uh, Tour YouTube channel. Tonight we are going over Enoch. We are uh, doing a little Enoch study here as a family with you guys, and uh, we are uh, learning what Enoch saw and what his visions were. Yeah, we appreciate your time. We know you could be doing a lot of other things, and so we appreciate your time here studying the Word of Yah. And um, the book of Enoch is one of those books It is very confusing because it was found in fragments. It was found in little tiny fragments, and so it was pieced together and so this is why the translations are so rough. And I think this is why it is actually good that we're actually reading this with five different translations. Caden, your translation is the? Uh, the Book of Enoch. The Book of Enoch from the Play Store. Uh, Google, Jade, yours is? Lost Books of the Bible, the Great Rejected Text by Joseph B. Lumpkin. Yeah, it's a big, thick book. Nicole? Highly Scriptures. Okay, you like A WordPress site. Some guy's WordPress site. Okay, so those are the versions we are using, and we will get right into this. Um, <clears throat> Caden. Or anybody, let us uh, tell me what has happened, what has transpired, where were we just at? Can any of you guys remember what happened in the last episode? So we went over um, the angels, the messengers, the stars, things of that sort. Went over the behemoth and the leviathan and how uh, Enoch, well it actually goes, it goes, because it skips back and forth and we go to Noah's time where it talks about how Enoch saw the flood and how the people were going to be flooded out and how Yahuwah had a... Uh, Basically repented. He said, he said he repented. He sighed. He was sad that he had to kill off all the earth. and said he was never going to do that again. So he placed his rainbow in the sky. And then it goes back to the Leviathan where it talks, and the behemoth where it talks about where the unjust people, the unholy people are food for the behemoth and the Leviathan. Yeah, and so in Nicole's version of the Hallelujah Scriptures, I think chapter 60, is it? Is, yeah. is correct. It has the better of the readings and everything is, is and I think the Sefer has this kind of out of place because it doesn't tremendously make a lot of sense. So, okay, let's get into it. Um, anyone else have anything else about the beginning of this? Um, no, nothing, nothing intriguing? I uh, know we've learned that uh, wind and snow and stuff, they each are like their own, I think kind of alive, it's kind of their own spirit. Yeah, and it's alive. It has its own receptacles. It's not and just it's, like nature. There's actually something behind it. Yeah, it's not just nature. It's like live. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. All right, <clears throat> here we go. Enoch, 61, in the Sefer. In those days I beheld long ropes given to those angels, who took to their wings and fled, advancing towards the north. Everyone had the same version. Mine said yep. they acquired wings. Mine says cords. They have uh, choir wings. So, no, in those days I saw long cords given to those angels, and they acquired wings for themselves and flew and went towards the north. Okay, it says they acquired wings. Mm -hmm. Mine said they took to themselves wings and flew. Who took to their wings? Wow! So maybe angels didn't always have. Maybe it's like a like a like a like a thing goes over your shoulders and like on your back and they have fly or something. I don't think it's so. It's jetpack. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, I hope not. I, I think I, I'm hoping that these are like actual entities with big wings. I mean, because what do we know of angels, right? How many wings do they have? They have six wings. Uh, one up above covering their head and shoulders. Yeah. The second one covering their abdomen and middle section. And, and then one the, covering their and feet. And the bottom one covering their legs and feet. Right. And at any given point, we're going to have dogs growling and barking. For those who don't uh, tune into this channel, we have 10 pit bulls, and sometimes they get a little wild. We're doing the best that we can on this. All right, so let's go into two. And I inquired of the angel, saying, Wherefore have they taken those long ropes and gone forth? He said, They are gone forth to measure. Everyone that's clear? Yeah, yeah they went forth to take measurements. Okay. The angel who proceeded with me said, These are the measures of the righteous, and cords shall the righteous bring that they may trust in the name of Yahuwah Zavot forever and ever. Okay? I feel like that could be Z seeds, maybe. Dude, I think, I don't know. I think he's talking about like a giant tape measure with ropes is what he's talking about, right? Maybe like, uh, maybe a small little uh, cords. Measures the righteous and cords shall the righteous bring. See, mine, well, it could be. Mine says ropes that the righteous, to the righteous, that they should, may support themselves in the name of Yahuwah of hosts forever and ever. So you just got done making Z seeds. Are they ropes? No. No. What are they? Strings combined? Threads. Strings. Super strings. Threaders. All right. Um, all right. Let's roll. The elect shall begin to dwell with the elect. And these are the measures which shall be given to faith and shall strengthen the words of righteousness. These measures shall reveal all the secrets in the depth of the earth. All those who have been destroyed in the desert and who have been devoured by the fish of the sea and by wild beasts shall return and trust in the day of the elect one. For none shall perish in the presence of Yahuwah Zavot, nor shall any be capable of perishing. 
you know, so yeah. where yours says destroyed in the desert, mine says destroyed by the desert. Destroyed by the desert? Uh-huh. Anyone else have destroyed by the desert? Mine says by the desert. Yours says by the desert? Mm-hmm. Mine says in the desert. Maybe, like, they probably died in, like, a heat stroke or something. Like- right, because there, all these other people die in, like, the sea um, or wild beasts and stuff like that. That's very like interesting. the desert kills them. Mine yes. does say by the desert as well. But bad. these are, like, the righteous people that die. Right. Huh. And so they basically, like, their spirit doesn't die. They don't, they come back when Yehoshua comes back. Right. All right, that's interesting. Anyone else have anything on that? No, no I have nothing. Mine's right. the same as yours. I just boneheaded it. Hold on. All right. Then they received the commandment, all in the heavens above, to whom a combined power, voice, and splendor like fire were given. You guys have the same, mm-hmm. all that? And all who dwell above the Shamaim receive a command and power in one voice and one light like fire. Oh, okay, so Jay, is that kind of what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, she, she and I have really close versions. Okay, so what is that saying then? So All who dwell it. above the Shamayim right. received a command, and power and one voice and one light like fire. So, oh man, I wonder what the commandment was. They received what commandment? I don't know, they got power? Like what kind of power? I think it says down below, I think. Oh. All right, nine. And first with voice they blessed him. They exalted him, they glorified him with wisdom, and ascribed to him wisdom with the word, and with the breath of life. Everyone have the same stuff? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Then Yahuwah Zavot, seated upon the throne of his glory, the elect one. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what are we saying there? So and yeah. he placed Yahushua on the throne of esteem. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's what it is. Who shall judge all the works of the holy in heaven above, and in a balance shall he weigh their actions. And when he shall lift up his countenance, to judge their secret ways in the word of the name of Yahuwah Zavot and their progress in the path of the righteous judgment of El Elyon. Anyone? Uh, it's the same. It's the same. Yeah, pretty much the same. Everything. He basically judges them. Right. Um, but he's going to judge them based upon Yahuwah Zavot. So how, how would that be, Eli? How, how would you be judged based upon him? By the Torah? Yeah, the Torah. And mine says the secret ways according to the word. Right. Of the name of Yahuwah. The secret ways of the word? Uh-huh. Or in the word? Of the word. This one it says, says secret ways in the word. I said secret ways according to the word. Okay. Well, I mean, judge their secret ways. Okay, so, yeah, that's going to be the evil people that are doing evil stuff, I think, right? Mm-hmm. He shall lift up his countenance to judge their secret ways in the word of the name. Yeah, so I think that's... Mine says be, according to the word. Yeah, so people will be judged according to the Torah. Okay. 12, they shall all speak with united voice and bless, glorify, exalt, and praise in the name of Yahweh Zavuot. Okay, anyone comments or anything on this? Nope, we're good. Okay, uh, he shall call to every power of the heavens, to all the holy above, and to the power of the Elohim, the cherubim, the sephirim, and the ophrim, all the angels of power, and all the angels of Yahuwah, namely of the elect one, and of the other power who was upon earth over the water on that day. All right. So There's a lot to he, take in on he this. He calls one. like, the, yeah, I meant his cherubim, seraphim, and the. So do you, is Ohana. your Elohim uppercase in yours? Mm-hmm. The power of Elohim. Um, power of. Uh, mine says the host of Elohim. And, but it's a, okay. So this is like Yehoshua uh, because calls all of them together. Yeah, he's like calling them. They also call angels Elohim before as well. Yeah, lowercase Elohim. Right. So the cherubim, the sephirim. So what does this have in here? It's three uh, different types of cherubim. angels. Cherubim, yeah. Plural of cherub or archangels. So we got one set. We have the seraphim, a class of angelic creatures that guard, grip, and cover the throne of Elohim. So Yah's got his own uh, hit team. Do not come near the throne. Okay, um, and Ophrium is the Ophanim, Ophanim. Uh, in the plural, fiery wheels, a lower rank of cherubim that hold the throne of Elohim. Wow, man, he's got his angels too. That's actually, like three different layers right there. Yeah, wow, and there, uh, you know, there's probably all sorts of creations. All right, here we go. Fourteen shall raise their united voice, shall bless, glorify, praise, and exalt with the Ruach Im- Imuna. Imuha. Spirit of belief is what mine says. With the Ruach Chokma. Spirit of wisdom. Netzak. Spirit of patience. With the uh, with the Ruach Ched Ked. Spirit, Spirit of, of favor. Spirit, Spirit of, of mercy. mercy. Yeah, so it's mercy. And with the Ruach Mispat. Spirit, Spirit of judgment. judgment. And Shalom. And peace. peace. 
and with the Ruach Ratzon. Goodness. Good, spirit of goodness. Spirit of goodness. All shall say with united voice, Blessed he, and the name of Yahuwah Zavuot, shall be blessed forever and ever. All who sleep not shall bless it in the heaven above. All right, wow, there's a lot to take in on this. Um, the uh, very interesting part at the bottom, um, those who sleep not, and because we know that some people will be sleeping at the time if it's over, the wicked people will be in a, a, a judgment kind of evil place. This is like horrible. Um, but if that means there's going to be some people that sleep not. And in, in Ezra, in the second book of Ezra, it talks about, um, I think Ezra actually made it. He says the Ezra was going to be... Um, called up I think some, is what they said in there and he was going to hang out with his son he's like yeah you're not gonna you're not gonna die the normal way so um, we will be reading that very shortly all right does anyone have anything else on this no. there's a lot of there's a lot of spirits mm -hmm. yeah. yeah when I say that I don't don't those who don't sleep above in heaven those who do not sleep above in heaven shall bless him mine says in the Shamaim above uh, those who sleep not in those the who do not sleep Right. All who do not sleep in the Shamayim above shall Baruch him. So I don't think anyone sleeps in the do they? Don't they? Didn't we read that? People sleep when it's over? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Up in, up in the Shamayim? That's before I don't know if it's Shamayim. No, not in the Shamayim. I, I mean, think. Shol. We have Shol. I think it's the way Which is a holding, and, and holding then, room. I think there's like the angels and stuff. Hmm. Okay, do you have anything? I got nothing. Else. Nothing? We're, we're probably slaughtering this. All right. Anyway, let's go into 15. All the holy in heaven shall bless it. All the elect who dwell in the garden of life and every ruach of light who is capable of blessing, glorifying, exalting, and praising your holy name. And all flesh, more than the power, shall glorify and bless your name forever and ever. Okay. What do you got? Uh, mortal man, more than the powers of heaven, shall glorify and bless thy name forever and ever. Mortal men? It might say mortal men. It said like those of flesh or how would you say it? All right. I don't know. But it says it's interesting because we're going to be heading back to the garden, right? At some point, there's going to be some of us that actually make it back to this place, and it's going to be an uh, awesome place. All the Kadeshim who are in the Shamayim shall Baruch him, and all the elect who dwell in the Garden of Life of Kai, and every spirit of light who is able to Baruch and esteem and exult and Kadesh your Baruch name, and all flesh shall be on measure esteem and Baruch your name forever and ever. Wow, that seems to make more sense than this. Okay, um, anyone know what this is? Too bad it's not digital. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I wish they did. Okay, for great is the mercy of Yahuwah Zavuot. Long-suffering is he and all his works, all his power. Great as are the things which he has done, has he revealed to the Kadeshim and to the elect in the name of Yahuwah Zavuot. All right. So basically he's blessing Yahuwah and telling him how great he is. Right. So I, I'm very curious who, who the Kadeshim are and, who, and to the elect. Who are, what, what do you guys have for Kadeshim? Holy men is this. Mine says saints. Kadeshim, saints, holy men, holy ones. Yeah, so I don't know. Hopefully I can make one of those. I don't know. Probably not. But all right, let's hit 62. Thus Yahuwah commanded the kings, the princes, the exalted, and those who dwell on earth, saying, Open your eyes and lift up your horns, if you are, are capable of comprehending the elect one. Yahuwah Savot sat upon the throne of his glory, and the Ruach Zedaka was poured out over him. Spirit, spirit of righteousness. righteousness. Okay, so Yahuwah, so spirit of righteousness sat upon the throne of his glory, and and the spirit of righteousness was poured out on him. Okay, the word of his mouth shall destroy all the sinners and all the wicked who shall perish at his presence. My Mine says kill all the sinners and all the lawless, and they're destroyed in front of Ooh, lawless? Mm -hmm. Instead of wicked, it's lawless? Mine says sinners and all the unrighteous. Unrighteous. Unrighteous is on lawlessness, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. it's not on the cross, folks. It's not on the cross. All right. In that day shall all the kings, the princes, the exalted, and those who possess the earth stand up, behold, and perceive that he is sitting on the throne of his glory, that before him the Kadeshim shall be judged in righteousness. So basically, at the end of the day, there's, everyone's going to realize that Yah is in power, and they are not in power. There's actually a, a creator above, is what it's sort of saying here. Yeah. And that nothing which shall be spoken before him shall be in vain. Trouble shall come upon them, as upon a woman in travail whose labor is severe, when her child comes to the mouth of the womb, and she finds it difficult to bring forth. One portion of them shall look upon another. They shall be astonished and shall humble their countenance. And trouble shall seize them when they shall behold the son of Adam sitting upon the throne 
of his glory. Now, why would people, um, why would trouble seize people if they see Messiah Yahushua? And it's kind of a scary thing. He's going to come riding on horses with angels and messengers around him. And I assume our eyes are going to be open to where we can see the messengers and all these things around us. It's going to be a very on uh, moment. So who's going to, who's, what kind of people are going to uh, have trouble that seizes them? Uh, I think sinners. Definitely so. the wicked. Definitely, definitely yeah, the wicked. wicked. They didn't believe it's in stuff. Like, gonna... Mine says pain. Pain? And pain will come upon them and peace, as on a woman. And, and labor. pain shall seize them. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Let's roll on. Um, where are we at? Sorry. Five, I think? I'm on six. Uh, I'm on six as well. What? I'm on five, I think. There it is. All right, ten, yep. Yeah. Then shall the kings, the princes, and all who possess the earth glorify him who has dominion over all things. Him who was concealed, for far from the beginning the son of Adam existed in secret which El Elyon preserved in the presence of his power and revealed to the elect. Now, this is like a Trinity killer right here. I mean, this is this is like if you had this in the, the 66 book King James, people would go, it, it says it's that... Obviously two it, people. It's obvious. I mean, this whole thing is obvious. It's definitely two people. And, um, you know, it's not... Yah is not split off a giant personality of himself and, and is now ruling. Makes no he sense. would do it himself. I mean, it, there's no reason that he would, like, set up his kid... Like this. So, <clears throat> anyway. 11. He shall sow the assembly of the Kadeshim and of the elect, and all the elect shall stand before him in that day. All the kings, the princes, the exalted, and those who rule over all the earth shall fall down on their faces before him and shall worship him. All right. That sounds good. They shall fix their hopes on the son of Adam, shall pray to him, and petition him for mercy. Okay. What does that usually say? Does it just say pray to him? Petition him and make supplication for compassion at his hands. Okay. My, my that, said, and will entreat him and will petition for mercy. Because that's power. totally anti Bible right there. Because right there it says, they shall fix their hopes on the son of Adam, shall pray to him and petition him for mercy. We don't Dr. pray. Pigeon. Yeah, we don't pray to Mother Mary. We don't pray to Messiah Yahushua. We don't pray to anyone except our Elohim, Yahuwah. Although, let me go back and read this just a little bit. All right. Because it says. And all the sovereigns and the mighty and the exalted and those who rule the earth shall fall down before him on their faces and worship and place their hope upon the Ben of Adam and petition him and make supplication for compassion at his hands. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about pray. Yeah, no. they're, they're, asking to hurt, just, they're asking not to be killed off. Yeah, that Dr. Pigeon. Okay. Um, what did you say, Kate? Mine says pray. Pray. Mine uh -huh. says we'll entreat him. And treat him. So Mine says have, petition him and supplicate they're trying for to earn mercy. His favor. They're trying to earn his favor so they don't get judged. By praying to him? No, by uh, entreating like him. Like begging him. him. Oh, right. Yeah, absolutely. No, by praying to him, he's probably going to strike him down. Like, That's you, not how you do it. Yeah. You failures again. Our Father who art in heaven is how you do it. All right. Then shall Yahuwah Zavot hasten to expel them from his presence. Their faces shall be full of confusion and their faces shall darkness cover. All right, why are these people full of their face full of confusion? They thought maybe that they would actually Dude, have mercy. Everything they believed is wrong. This is the Christians right here. This is three billion Christians that all of a sudden got it wrong. What do you got, Nicole? Mine says filled with shame. Oh. So, shame and darkness. So their faces shall be f full of shame? Uh-huh. Uh, it's they're gonna their pride's going to be humbled. They're going to basically be like, oh wow, I guess you... Well, when you have it all figured out and you figured out that you just put it all on the cross as you're eating a pork Pork chops, um, not a good idea. All right, let's continue on. We're halfway through this one, the, or not quite. The angel shall take them to punishment, that vengeance may be inflicted on those who have oppressed his children and his elect, and they shall become an example to the Kadeshim and to his elect. Through them shall these be made joyful, for the anger of Yahuwah Zavot shall rest upon them. All right, anyone have anything different? Or uh -uh. And okay. they shall be spectacles. For the righteous and for his elect, they shall rejoice over them because the wrath of Yahuwah of hosts rested upon them. Yeah, uh, it's not good. So you don't want to be on the other side of Yah. You don't want to be on that. You want to be with him, not contrary to him. All right. Then the sword of Yahuwah Zavot shall be drunk with their blood, but the Gadeshim and elect shall be safe in that day. Nor the face of the sinners and the wicked shall they thenceforwards behold. Uh, they shall never see again the face of the sinners and unrighteous. That sounds bad. Shall be drunk in their blood. The yeah, sword's wild. The sword, yeah, the sword of Yah is going to be Probably just... a really powerful sword. A uh, powerful sword, and there's going to be a lot of them, right? If it's just blood everywhere. I've, there's a lot of people. There's probably a lot. All right. Yahuwah's a vote shall remain over them. And the son of Adam shall they dwell, eat, 
lie down, and rise up forever and ever. All right, I found that very interesting. Anyone else? So basically, we're going to basically be living with the with the uh, son of the creator. How many people are there? This is my question. And then eat. I didn't realize we ate in the Shemaim. I did. I didn't have a reference. I I don't think that it ever says. Hey, but I'm down for that. Maybe I can cook. Yeah, Nicole wants to be Yas, <laughs> Yas cook. And he he should definitely uh, look into her when that that day comes. She's a great cook. Um, Her resume. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll all put in the word. Yeah, we'll all put in the word. Um, okay, so it, it doesn't sound good, right? Um, but here, so we're going to, and this is with the son of Adam here. Um, I was actually at the, the previous verse there. That's why I said that. Um, but when we, uh, we dwell, so if we dwell, eat, lie down, rise up forever and ever. What lie down would also have a sleep. sleep. <laughs> yeah. So I guess I mean, may, so maybe the angels don't sleep, but we will. I don't know. We've we've heard of Messiah Yahushua says, "In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you so." Um, and you know, we read here that the uh, Enoch saw a whole bunch of mansions. Remember the, yeah. the whole bunch of stuff. So I think life we may continue on as it is, but we're going to be in a, a you know Mount Zion. We're going to be at the top of Mount Zion. Uh, whatever you call it, it's going to be a it's spectacular. Be yeah, it's going to be huge. Like the entire Mount Zion. The whole top of it is going to have a kingdom that I could just imagine, you know, something out of, you know, some crazy movie or something where it comes and descends and it's got clouds over it now and you can't really get up to Mount Zion unless you're part of the elect. It's just going to be cool. All right, next. The Kadeshim and the elect have arisen from the earth, have left off to depress their countenances and have been clothed with the garment of life. That garment of life is with Yahuwah Zavot, in whose presence your garment shall not wax old, nor shall your glory diminish. So right. is that like the garments that uh, John wrote about that like he gave to the weeping ones? Uh, I don't know. But I mean, you know, there's the garments of life. We, we know that Adam and Eve ended up with the special garments. I don't know if it was the garments of life. But they ended up with special ones that ended up in the hands of Nimrod. And he became, you know, super powerful from that kind of stuff. Um, what did you guys say? And these shall be garments of life from Yahuwah of hosts, and your garments shall not grow old, nor your esteem pass away before Yahuwah of hosts. Man, that'd be great. All our clothes have holes in them everywhere. So we need some garments that don't. The jungle eats them. Yeah, stains. Yeah, the jungle eats them. All right, 63 in this. Oh, whatever that was. What was that? That was my phone. Is it over now? All right. Uh, 63. In those days, the kings who possess the earth shall be punished by the angels of his wrath, wheresoever they shall be delivered up that he may give rest for a short period, and that they may fall down and worship before Yahuwah Zavot, confessing their sins before him. Okay, so an angel is going to... Angels of wrath. You guys have anything else? Angels of his punishment. Yeah, so he's going to have a whole bunch of... There's going to be some wild stuff. When we can see the supernatural, or we can see the other fields or realms, whatever it is that we can't see right now, it's going to be amazing. Because I do believe messengers around us, as well as the forces of darkness, the demons... The uh, fallen's offspring. All right. Um, two. Two. They shall. Is yours two? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. But, well, but yours sixty-three. 60. Two. Okay. I'm on sixty-three. I'm on sixty-three too. We okay. joined up finally. Amazing. All right. They shall bless and glorify Yahuwah of Wot, saying, "Blessed is your Yahuwah of Wot, Yahuwah of Kings, Yahuwah of Princes, Yahuwah of the Rich, Yahuwah of Glory, and Yahuwah of Wisdom." Yeah. Instead of glory, mine says esteem. Glory. Okay. Mine says glory. Glory. All right, he shall enlighten every secret thing. Your power is from generation to generation and your glory forever and ever. Deep are all your secrets and numberless, and your righteousness cannot be calculated. Now we know that we should glorify and bless Yahuwah of kings, him who is king over all things. They shall also say, who has granted us rest to glorify, laud, bless, and confess in the presence of his glory. Should you guys say laud? Mine says law and L A U D. Yeah. Mine says, and they will say, would that we might be given a respite so that we might praise and thank and bless him and make her confession in front of his glory. Thank, then? Is that what it is? Praise and thank? Mine is a little different. And they shall say, oh, that we had rest to esteem and give thanks and confess our belief before his esteem. Wow. Okay. All right. Moving on. And now, small is the rest we desire, but we do not find. We reject and do not possess. Light has passed away from before us, our, and darkness are thrones forever. That sounds grim. I mean, yeah, it sounds like those who aren't the saints. And now we have very long for a little rest, but did not find it. We follow hard upon 
and do not obtain. And light has vanished from before us, and darkness is our dwelling place forever and ever. Yeah, I don't know. Um, that sounds bad. It's where we want to avoid the darkness forever and ever. Okay. For we have not confessed before him. We have not glorified the name of Yahuwah of kings. We have not glorified Yahuwah in all his works. But we have trusted in the scepter of our, and of our dominion and of our glory. Scepter of our kingdom and our own glory. Kingdom, dominion. Yeah, maybe this earth is our kingdom. Huh. Glorify the name. Anyone have any idea what we're talking about here? Mm -mm. I think it's basically people who like. Yeah, these are bad people. Dealt with the their earth is their kingdom, and they didn't see this, uh, set stuff up in the Shamaim as their kingdom. They weren't in awe of Yahuwah. They did not glorify him, and they just didn't care. They didn't believe they in him. They set up their own kingdoms. Okay. In the day of our suffering and of our trouble, he will not save us, neither shall we find rest. We confess that our Adonai is faithful in all his works, in all his judgments, and in his righteousness. In his judgments, he pays no respect to persons, and we must depart from his presence on account of our deeds. All our sins are truly without number. <laughs> wow. Then shall they say to themselves, our souls are satiated with the instruments of crime, but that prevents us not from descending to the flaming womb of Sheol. So that's what we're talking about, the, the place for the dead. You know, there's a bad place of Sheol, and it's, it sounds terrible, a flaming womb. Afterwards, their countenances shall be filled with darkness and confusion before the son of Adam, from whose presence shall they shall be expelled, and before, him, before whom the sword shall remain to expel them. Thus says Yahuwah Zavuot, This is the decree and the judgment against the princes, the kings, the exalted, and those who possess the earth in the presence of Yahuwah Zavuot. Can I start back up on 10? Yeah, 10? Yeah. Oh, okay. I have 10, 11, 12. And that's it? Because I just read 10 through 16. Mm, yeah, mine's only 10 through 12. Okay, hit it. <laughs> now they shall say unto themselves, Our beings are full of unrighteous gain, but it does not prevent us from descending from the midst thereof into the burden of Gehinnon. And after that their faces shall be filled with darkness and shame before the Ben of Adam. And they shall be driven from his presence, and the sword shall abide before his face in their midst. Thus spoke Yahuwah of hosts, This is the statute and judgment with respect to the mighty and to the sovereigns and the exalted and those who possess the earth before Yahuwah of hosts. All right. Well, I guess the, uh, the sinners are annihilated. Um, and it's a bad place. Don't be a sinner. Yeah, it's just a bad place. All right, 64. This is a long one. All right. I saw also other countenances in that secret place. I heard the voice of an angel saying, These are the angels who have descended from heaven to earth and have revealed secrets to the sons of men, and have seduced the sons of men to the commission of sin. This is called the vision of Noah. So that's where, okay, mine stopped right there. That's 64 for us, number now 65. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's, that's long. There's one verse. There's one verse. I was kidding. Oh. Yeah. I thought you had went on both chapters. I was no. so confused. No, Guys, sorry. I can't see his tablet, so I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, Jade, Jade's sitting there directly across from me. There's only I'm like, I'm like, looking, said this I'm like looking down. I'm like, I'm like I, guess we're going to, I guess we're going through all 65, too. All right, and it's starting to rain, so we'll go. If it gets, hopefully we can clear through this and, and make it. If not, then we'll end at the end of the chapter. In those days, Noah saw that the earth became inclined and that destruction approached. Then he lifted up his feet and went to the ends of the earth to the dwelling of his great-grandfather, Canuck. And Noah cried with a bitter voice, Hear me, hear me, hear me, three times. And he said, Tell me what is transacting upon the earth, for the la earth labors and is violently shaken. Surely I shall perish with it. After this, there was a great perturbation on earth, and a voice was heard from heaven. I fell down on my face when my great-grandfather Canuck came and stood by me. I feel like these are, like, some really important books that should have been in the Bible, because you could see, like, another side of, like, the stories you didn't see. You just know that Noah was, he was a holy guy, yeah. and he built an yep. ark, but you don't see the troubles he went through, right? How scared he was, how the rest of, how the rest of his life was, like, he was a regular human, he just wasn't some like super holy guy he was super scared as well he had a human emotion just like the rest of it and it shows like a human side of them as well yeah and it's, it's really cool he has a connection with with grandpa canuck right even though Enoch. he's dead or well, well, i guess not he ain't dead, dead. yeah man so he, he ain't dead verse one basically tells us the earth is flat how so and in those days noah saw the earth had tilted as destruction was near mine said oh. sunk down oh sunk down. sunk down that sounds really bad because it talks about mountains and uh, leaping and doing crazy things and things of that nature. I'm going to get one of the earth shaking because the Nephilim are like walking. 
I hope not. That's not good. And <laughs> what mine where it says commotion on earth, and after there was a great commotion on earth, and the voice was heard from the Shamayim, and I fell on my face. Okay. All right. Um, four. No, I'm five, on six, right? Five. But yeah. He said to me, Why have you cried out to me with a bitter cry and lamentation? A commandment has gone forth from Yahuwah against those who dwell on the earth, that they may be destroyed. For they know every secret of the angels, every oppressive and secret power of the devils, and every power of those who commit sorcery, as well as those who make molten in the whole earth. Okay, you guys say molten? I said molten images. Molten images. Okay. Molten images. They make idols. Right. The mind says of those who practice sorcery and the power of witchcraft and the power of those who make molten images. Yeah, sorcery, big pharma. Watch out, So buddy. basically, y'all had this stuff locked away and the angels went and revealed yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. They... they killed the world essentially um there it is seven he how is silver produced from the dust of the earth why it says they know how silver is produced who does it says what it says they know how no, the humans now know oh, okay how, how is silver produced from the dust of the earth and how on the earth does the dro- does the drop exist soft metal soft metal mm-hmm. soft metal origins uh-huh. in the earth for lead and tin are not produced from earth as a primary fountain of their production hmm Anything? Mine says for lead and tin are not produced from the earth like the first. It is a fountain that produces them. It is a fountain that produces them. Wow. What does huh. that mean? So there's some this is like some kind of spring or something that has like lead in it. I don't know. Like, like, like a well or something. Does yours have more to that verse? Uh, no, verse 8. Do you have more? Mine says, and the messenger stands therein. That's the next verse. Oh, okay. that's the next one. Okay. Yeah, there's an angel standing up on it. This is verse 8. And that angel struggles to prevail. All these people like taking the secrets and this dude can't stop them. Yeah, all right. Afterwards, my great-grandfather Canuck seized me with his hand, raising me up and saying to me, Go, for I have asked Yahuwah to vote respecting this perturbation on the earth, of the earth, who replied, On account of their impiety have the innumerable judgments been consummated before me. Because of the sorceries which they have searched out and learned, the earth and those who dwell upon it will be destroyed, and that to these there will be no refuge forever. They have discovered secrets, those who have been judged, but not you, my son. Yahuwah Zavot knows that you are pure and good from the reproach of secrets. He, the Holy One, will establish your name in the midst of the Kadeshim and will guard you from those who dwell upon the earth. He will establish your seed in righteousness for kings and for great glory. And from your seed shall spring forth righteousness and holy men with, without, oh, without number forever. All right. This side. Um, I don't want to end on 66. Um, how loud do you think this is? It should be all right, right? Is it loud? Yeah. Mine right. said, can I do the last thing real yeah. quick? Sorry. Um, 12. And he has destined your name to be among the Kadesh and will preserve you amongst those who dwell on the earth and has destined your righteous seed, both of sovereignty and great honors. And from your seed shall proceed a fountain of the righteous and Kadesh without number forever. Yeah, so yeah, it's from his seed came... But we're seed of fountain. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, all right, let's let's uh, let's roll 66. How big is it? Very small. All right. <laughs> After this, he showed me the angels of punishment who were prepared to come and to open all the mighty waters under the earth that they may be for judgment and for the destruction of all those who remain and dwell upon the earth. And Yahuwah Zavot commanded the angels who went forth not to take up and guard the men for those angels are over all the mighty waters. Then I went out from the presence of Kanak. All right, what do we what do we say here? Basically, you say don't save anyone. It's just you. Yeah. Well, um, uh, angels of punishment who are prepared to come and open all the mighty waters so under think, the earth. I think he said this was no. Noah's time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is Noah. This we're back. We're back. Yeah, we're skipping past. again. It's like, okay. it's like, Eli, what? So mine says, "The Lord Spirit's command the angels who were coming out not to raise their hands, but to keep watch for those an- for those angels who were in charge of the force of the waters. They're not oh, to raise their hands. Not to raise their hands. Yeah. So don't stop. They're not to guard their man- the men. So waters to rise, but should hold them in check. Yeah. So basically, the angels are stopping all of this thing from flooding, and uh, they I guess at that point he just let the angels like rip the the waters up." And uh, what's interesting here is it says angels guard the men, right? Mm-hmm. So that's really cool. Um, we have. <laughs> that's things. why Enoch said, that's why Yahuwah said, 
angels to pray for men and not men for the angels. Yeah. All right, we'll do 67. I don't want to end on 66, so 67. In those days, the word of Elohim came to me and said, Noach, behold, your lot has ascended up to me, a lot void of crime, a lot beloved and upright. Same? Same. Yeah. Mine yeah. said a lot without blame. Right. Now then the angels are making a wooden structure, but when they proceed to this, I will put my hand upon it and guard it. So that's his uh, art. Art. So the angels will help build it. Yeah. So angel. Noah and the angels build it together. Yeah, that's why you wonder how, how could some one dude and, and come and up And then Jasher says build it in five years. You're thinking, talking about a huge it's art. It's huge. Absolutely huge, yeah. That's not like three guys aren't going to build it. And get all the wood, get all the timbers, get all that stuff yeah, for it. And the pitch all around, outside and inside. All right. Um, three. The seed of life shall arise from it, and a change shall take place, that the land, dry land, shall not be left empty. I will establish your seed before me forever and ever. And the seed of those who dwell with you on the surface of the earth, it shall be blessed and multiplied in the presence of the earth in the name of Yahuwah. Okay, same story. We've already, we've heard this. This is, you know, Noah's story here. And they shall confine, and they shall confine those angels who disclosed in piety in that burning valley, which at first my great-grandfather Canuck showed me in the west, where there were mountains of gold and silver, of iron, of fluid metal, and of tin. And uh, Ori Pup was, uh, he mentioned uh, fluid metal being mercury. That could, mercury? That, yeah, that could be. Yeah, I mean, a mountain, that could be very well be it. All right, um, anyone? Anything else? The angels are stuck in a burning valley. Yeah, somewhere in the west. I don't know how far west. Apparently, metal was not supposed to be something that was known to us. We were not supposed to know how. Yeah, because you care. Or weapons. fire. Yeah. yeah, or fire. I mean, we weren't even supposed to know fire. We were supposed to be pretty, like, innocent people. Yeah, we were supposed to rely innocent. on Yah, right? When yeah. he, Adam went into the, the garden to till the, the garden, he was a farmer. He spent years farming. So, all right, next. I beheld that valley in which there was great perturbation and the waters were troubled. That's an earthquake. Oh. Uh, perturbation is an earthquake? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mine says great convulsion. Well, yeah. There was a great earthquake. Oh, okay. And yeah, I no saw one... the valley in which there was a great earthquake and a convulsion of the waters. Why do we say perturbation? Whatever that is. Okay. Earthquake. And when all this was affected from the fluid mass of fire and troubled them in that place... There arose a strong smell of sulfur, which became mixed with the waters, and the valley of the angels, who had been guilty of seduction, burned underneath its soil. Cool. Okay. I wonder if they're dead forever. And when this all took place from the fiery molten metal, and from the earthquake in that place, there was produced a smell of sulfur, and it was connected with those waters that led the valley of the messengers who had led astray burn beneath that land. So they just burned up all the angels in the water somehow. In the metal. In the molten lava. The fiery molten lava. Metal. Oh, man, this is going to be a sucky ending for them. Yeah, they should do that. I know. Through that valley also rivers of fire were flowing, to which those angels shall be condemned who seduce the inhabitants of the earth. And in those days shall these waters be to kings, to princes, to the exalted, and to the inhabitants of the earth, for the healing of the soul and body, and for the judgment of the Ruach. All right, so these waters have just killed all of the angels, and I guess it's like a healing water now. Is that what it says? Yeah. So for sovereigns and the mighty and exalted and those who dwell on earth for Sorry, the guys. healing of the body. Yeah, that's our Telegram group. Don't forget to join. Yeah, don't forget to join the Telegram group. We'll leave a link down below. Um, so what are, what are we saying here, guys? Sorry. Um, so basically they kill all the angels down below? Kill them all now. The waters are... Exalted it's healing. And those that dwell on the earth for the healing of the body, but the punishment of the spirit. Yeah. I just saw that's like weird. Yeah, get in the angel dead water. Uh, okay. I'm going to go there. <laughs> their ruach shall be full of lust, that they may be judged in their bodies because they have denied Yahuwah's devout, and they perceive their condemnation day by day. They believe not in his name. Um, did I miss something? Nope. Now their spirit is full of lust that they may be punished in their body, for they have denied Yahuwah of hosts and their, and see their punishment daily, and yet do not believe in his name. And it's bouncing all over the place, I think. Okay, 10. And as the inflammation of their body shall be great, so shall their ruach undergo a change forever. Your, their spirit's going to undergo change. Um, this doesn't sound like a good thing, like we shouldn't be doing this. Okay, so it's a bad punishment. Do anyone have anything? Not really, because it says they're punished and they're going to change and their bodies are going to burn. Okay. For no word which is uttered before Yahuwah's vote shall be in vain. Judgment has come upon them because they trusted in their carnal revelry. 
And denied Yahuwah's of woe. Their lust of their body. Lust of their body. And denied the Ruhak of Yahuwah. Huh. All right. In those days shall the waters of that valley be changed. For when the angel shall be judged, then shall the heat of those springs of water experience an altercation. Alteration. When it says shall change their temperature. Yep. Okay, the waters in that valley. Okay, so this is all about the same valley. Okay, and when the angel shall ascend, the water of the spring shall again undergo a change and be frozen. Then I heard holy Mikiel answering and saying, This judgment with which the angel shall be judged shall bear testimony against the kings, the princes, and those who possess the earth. For these waters of judgment shall be for their healing and for the death of their bodies. But they shall not perceive and believe that the waters will be changed and become a fire which shall blaze forever. So this is like, uh, what, gay hinnom? This is like the beginning yeah, of hell? Yeah, this might be. If fires burn forever, it's fire burn forever. Yeah, wow, that's terrible. Um, but yeah, this is a terrible valley. We should probably stay away from this valley. Yeah, that's not sin, guys. <laughs> stay far away yeah. from it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, for those of those... Those of you guys who do not actually um, listen to anything else that we have on this channel, um, we are all about the laws, statutes, and commands of our Creator. We believe that the laws, and statutes, and commands of our Creator have not been done away with, that they apply to us for every generation, and that man has fallen astray because we have given up the laws, statutes, and commands. We put them on the cross, and um, we say that they don't matter to us anymore. So um, with that, does anyone have anything? Uh, um, read your Bibles. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you guys for spending some time with us. Uh, yep. Don't walk outside the Torah. This could happen to you. Yeah, don't walk outside the Torah. We want to be faithful to our Creator in everything we do. Eli, salvation begins where? At the cross, believing in Yehoshua Mashiach. Yep, and how does that prayer begin, and how does it sound, Cade? Our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Now, inside of that prayer, if you have never, ever called upon the name of Yahushua, that is where you would call upon the name of Yahushua. You would call and acknowledge him as the son, the one and only son, not the one and only son, because we're all sons of Elohim, but the son that, who was before uh, Moshe. He was he was with Yah when the creation began, and so we don't know how long they were together, but it is the son of our creator, and it is by his blood that we are healed. All right, anyone have anything else? Um, no. Have shalom. A, have a great evening. All right. Much all right, love. Shalom. shalom. shalom.